last video of 2013. I just want to say thank you to everyone who've been subscribed to me since I started YouTube, who even subscribed to me in 2013. Anybody who liked my videos, comment my videos, share my videos, watch my videos. Anybody who is just a part of BBX Fashion X Style, I want to thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for everything. Just thank you for an awesome year. And 2014 is definitely my year. I've been saying it for the last two months now. 2013 wasn't as great for me so 2014 we're gonna make a comeback so anyways this is the 2013 year in review tag I don't know the questions I haven't watched any of the videos I said you know what let me do a tag before the year ends and I'll type in New Year's tag or something like that and voila there's a tag for it so yeah let's start okay question number one what has been your favorite you your favorite videos this year to make or to watch. My favorite videos to watch this year has been vlog videos. Like some people I watch is Mitzi Certs, Chabas TV. Well, his his um, well Chabas TV. Yeah, I watch Jamaican makeup artists, and yes, those are all Jamaican vloggers. And I don't know. It's like when you watch a vlog, you cannot miss a next one. Like, there's some people, like, Ju it's Judy's time. She makes vlogs every day, and I try to watch them. But I just can't watch every single day. But Mitzi Certs, Jamaican makeup, makeup artist, Travis TV, those are the three vlog channels that I enjoy watching. And, yeah, I enjoy watching vlogs this year. I know that has nothing to do with beauty, fashion, or style, so. Have you passed any YouTube or online milestones this year? Well, um, besides gaining 2,000 subscribers this year, let me see, my most watched video, which is my box braids video, even up to this day, like that still gets the most comments on a daily basis. Um, that video has passed over, I'm trying to look for it, over 100,000 views over a hundred thousand views right now is at 108 over 108 thousand views so yeah that was a major milestone for me and it's weird because when I did that video I rushed it like some of the hairstyles are actually sloppy like the one where I did the ponytail and the braid and it was really really sloppy um I mean I didn't expect it to do as good socially as it was done verbally no physically I don't know <laughs> I don't know point is that that video was rushed I didn't think about styles I was sitting there like okay what can I do next and then I put the video together upload it and it's been on here for a year and it reached over 100,000 views so thank you to everyone who's watched that video and liked it and yeah and most of my subscribers I got because of that video thank God for that video Next question, what has been your biggest success or opportunity this year? Um, the video, I guess. I mean, I'm not really as active, like I don't upload every day, I try to upload every week. But um, well I just recently won a contest on YouTube, I guess. I don't know for that question. What has been your biggest setback or challenge? My biggest setback slash challenge is trying to make content and upload it as frequently as possible. And for me, out of beauty, fashion, and style, my most favorite type of videos that I make are the fashion ones because I love clothes, I love shopping, I love showing, you know, different. And people enjoy my style. So that has been a setback for me because I started college and... Yeah, that has been eating my mom's and my money. So, yeah, that really has been the biggest setback. Making more videos, especially fashion videos, because I love those videos. What's been your biggest beauty or fashion challenge this year? My biggest beauty challenge... Fashion challenge. I don't understand the question. Your biggest beauty or fashion challenge... Well, uh, well, okay, let's do fashion. My biggest fashion challenge was um, dressing how I wanted to dress, I guess, because I do go to college and it's like, 
this is my first year and I live on campus so even though it's fall I'm not as motivated to dress fallish I like I would definitely go outside in pants and a shirt or sweatpants or tights I mean leggings I'm not as motivated as when I'm here in New York so I guess that's my biggest challenge being motivated to dress nice <laughs> um what was your most expensive or most prized purchase this year? I guess it would have to be, if you watch my prom video, my dress. Because I actually got that dress like two days before prom. So to me, I think of expensive by how much something costs and when you have to put down for it. Because I had to ship out hundreds of dollars like two days before prom when you get everything ready at graduation to me that's like oh my gosh I'm broke that was totally expensive so it doesn't matter if something costs twenty dollars if twenty dollars is all I have and I have to get it today then I'm <laughs> that's expensive for me so my Sherry Hill dress that I wore to prom I mean it's, it's expensive in general but it was just so expensive to me because it was two days before prom and I didn't have a dress and I was like I have to get it so yeah I didn't go I didn't go to um, a dress store saying I have to get a Sherry Hill dress but yeah what have you been most thankful for this year? I've been most thankful for my mother. I would say family, but honestly my mother have, I mean, she's a mom and <laughs> you know you gotta do mom things, but to me my mom is more like my best friend. She's like my sister. I mean, she, I don't wanna get all emotional on here, but my mom, she, I've been so thankful for her and my boyfriend, even though I am in a long distance relationship and he lives all the way in Jamaica we talk every single day every single day and you know it's weird how you're in a long distance relationship you don't see this person all you do is hear their voice you don't physically see them every day but you feel more connected to them than the people you interact with every day even like some family members that sounded bad but like even some family members it's true like you have family members who you're not as connected with and you don't really share that type of friendship or relationship with them and here you are in a relationship with a guy like millions of miles away and you feel like that's like your BFF but that's another video yeah so I'm most thankful for those two people because he has kept me grounded and you know just keeps me sane because I'm crazy and my mom is just my everything she's all I've got and I love her dearly so yeah that this this was weird I didn't expect it to be like this okay maybe the first two questions but the ending okay that was the what's the name of this tag 2013 year in review tag. I just wanted to upload two more videos before the year ends. And I'll see you guys next year. I love you guys. Thanks for staying subscribed. And I'm supposed to be in Jamaica right now, but you know, things happen. Things happen. So that's enough of rambling. I'll talk to you guys in my next video, which is next year. I'm gonna go now. Where's my remote?